So it's time now for us to have a look at planes of symmetry. Yeah? So we've spoken about lines of symmetry and also about um, rectangles and, and squares. Um, and after the plane of symmetry, we're going to talk about rotational symmetry, which is also important. Yeah? And all these resources you'll find on my site, explainingmaths.com, yeah? so make sure you check it. But now planes of symmetry. So we're looking at three-dimensional figures. Yeah? So I have this, this, this cube here, um, which is a three-dimensional square, if you like. Uh, where all the sides are equal in length. And then the question is, how many planes of symmetry does the cube have? And a plane then is, yeah, like this, where then one side of the cube will be exactly the same, identical, to the other side of that plane. Okay, so that's a plane of symmetry. Now, again, students are confused. How many planes of symmetry does a cube have? And we're going to find out together now how many it does, yeah? And I'll try to show you as good as I can because with a camera it's a little bit difficult. Okay, but you count with me, all right? So the first one, so if I just put uh, my square down like this, it's gonna be here in the middle. Yeah? Do you realize that the top is gonna be the same as the bottom, yeah? Just have a look at that. You see that plane there in the middle? So the top is gonna be the same as the bottom. That's one. And this one perhaps easier for you to see over here, yeah? where this one is gonna be the same as that one. That is two. But I can also rotate that slightly and if I can fit that in, we can do it. Well, this is just for our understanding. Yeah? This is a plane that is free. Yeah? Both sides are the same, so that will be three. But then with a cube, yeah, unlike with a cuboid in most cases, but with a cube also those diagonals, the, the plane, yeah? those diagonal planes are also planes of symmetry. So that's going to be three. So also in that direction. So that is going to be four but also in this direction, yeah? Also in this direction, so that is going to be five, but also the other way around, so in that direction, so that is going to be six. And then also from that side, all the way to the bottom, if I can show you that, like that, diagonally, so that will be seven uh, or eight. Is it eight or seven? No, I forgot count, I think, I think this is eight. And then over here is going to be the last one, nine. Because a cube has nine planes of symmetry. Nine planes of symmetry. And uh, perhaps that wasn't very useful. Uh, perhaps it was uh, not very, uh, 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 for, uh, with a video it's difficult perhaps to see that in class everybody understands that. But I have this uh, sheet, um, and I did not create this myself. I found it on the internet, but I don't know from or who shared that with me in the past. Yeah? So I can't give credit to anybody, except that I'll say it's not mine, okay? But these are the nine planes of symmetry, uh, very visual. So have a look at this one. And thank you to the teacher who shared this on the internet. And I've been looking for the name, but I can't find it. So I'll just say the unknown teacher. Good. Planes of symmetry. Um, we have the lines of symmetry, we're going to talk about rotational symmetry now and check my site explainingmaths.com for all the resources you need to understand maths a bit better. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.